morning you watched me make that mocha coconut coconut mocha frappuccino thing you drink that was so delicious and while I was making it I'm pretty sure that you all saw that I ran out of chocolate syrup when I was doing it and since I I had a couple people ask me about the abuelitas which is the Mexican chocolate syrup I happened to find at my local Walmart um, the reason I bought that was because it in the does, Latin food section in the Latin food section Rick wants me to be sure to tell you that <laughs> Um, there's no high fructose corn syrup. There's no corn syrup in that at all. It's simply sugar um, And I wanted to give it a try. It does have a hint of cinnamon to it because it is a Mexican chocolate And the abuelita when you make the hot Mexican chocolate, it does have cinnamon in that too But um, I just bought that to try it. It's a lot cheaper to make your own My friend Kat's Cradle recently uploaded a video on how to make chocolate syrup She makes it a little bit differently than I do now, I did a video two years ago um, when I first started. What do you want? CC. <laughs> when oh, I first started. We're busy here. Aww. <laughs> and there's Sammy. He's having on me. Jealous, schmellous. Aww. Okay. Okay. There they are. Okay, all done with the little puppy <laughs> interlude. Uh, two years ago, when I first started my Holidays Are Coming video series. My very first video was how to make your own chocolate sauce. I have since developed a little bit different recipe and since we're using it a lot in these coffee drinks and these ice drinks, I thought I'd go ahead and show you because I'm out of chocolate syrup and I need to make more and I just thought I'd share the experience with you and show you what we're going to do. Um, it's very basic. In here you have a cup of sugar and a cup of cocoa. Okay, your choice. I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of salt. You can use any kind of salt, table salt, kosher salt, canning salt, pink salt, doesn't matter. I'm going to give this a whisk. I'm going to add a cup of water. And this is just the cup that I measured the cocoa in and I'm cramped for space today in my kitchen. Uh, we pulled about 30 pounds of tomatoes out of the garden yesterday and I really have to do something with them. Now, let's see if I can get this open. I recently found this. This is pure cane syrup. Okay, and is, hmm? Here, let's see, I want you to see the label because, is that better? And I got this at the Piggly Wiggly. Sometimes at the Pig, you can find really interesting regional specialties. Um, what? It says it contains 35% cane syrup. Yes, it says. does. The rest of it is this cane syrup. It's cane sugar syrup, cane syrup, and potassium sorbate. So there's nothing but cane syrup in here. And that means that the you know there is some degree of water in syrup. Yeah. So. What we're going to add to this is a half a cup of cane syrup. And the reason that I want to add syrup to my chocolate syrup, <laughs> that's a lot of syrup, 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 syrup. It makes me think of Buddy from Elf because the five food groups, right? Four food groups, Four. candy, candy canes, candy corn. candy corn, and syrup. And syrup. Right, so Buddy but, would be happy with this, right? But I guess that's what makes it syrup, isn't it? Syrup. <laughs> anyway, all goofiness aside, I'm just going to wipe this around here before I put the lid back on. This is going to help it to, to actually have a little bit of body. I mean, you're going to get that from boiling down your sugar, but this is also going to help it not to crystallize. I'm going to bring this over here to the stove. I'm just going to whisk it. Yeah, that's a lot of tomatoes I'm going to have to deal with. Bring it over here to the stove, and I'm going to give it a good whisk so it's blended well. I'm going to turn this over medium heat. And I'm just going to stand here and stir this and monitor it until it comes to a boil. I will bring you back when that happens. Okay, our chocolate syrup is boiling. And you see, I've just lifted it off the burner because it's going to overflow. Mm. I'm going to turn down the heat to like a, a medium low. 
I have to say, I for one, I'm not a big fan of cinnamon in my chocolate. Um, Mexican chocolate is just okay. But I'm not a giant chocolate fan in the first place. I do like it in things. Um, I like it in those coffee drinks we've been making. Um, but other than that, I don't go out of my way. I don't seek out chocolate. That's not really, that's not my vibe. <laughs> See how it's nice and thick and this is going to thicken as it cools now the the reason that we put that syrup in there was so that it wouldn't crystallize and when it cools off it's going to be what you would recognize as a chocolate syrup made by a national name brand only it doesn't have chemicals it doesn't have mercury it doesn't have any kind of genetically modified poison in it and it's going to be all around better for you and not to mention it's cheaper I mean, you can make an awful lot of, of chocolate syrup with a cup of cocoa, a cup of sugar, and a half a cup of that cane syrup. Now, if you can't find cane syrup, you could use golden syrup or brown rice syrup, which would be an organic product. Uh, if you live in the South and you can get your hands on cane syrup, go for that. But make sure that it is 100% cane syrup and doesn't isn't cut with any high fructose syrup because they like to do that too. I mean, that bottle of cane syrup was expensive. It was $7, but that's a lot of syrup. Um, alternatives, if you want to use corn syrup, that's absolutely your choice, but I would recommend using the Caro that has specifically labeled on the bottle, contains no high fructose corn syrup. Alternatively, you could use molasses. Um, that will give you a different flavor but it will still be a chocolate syrup and you would I think that you really would barely notice once it was cooled um, it's going to taste more like as if you had made it with brown sugar and then you could also alternatively make this syrup with brown sugar and then you could leave the syrup out of it altogether because brown sugar is made with molasses so those are just some suggestions Alternatives. Alternatives. Different ways you can do it. Okay, I think that I'm going to grab a spoon and I'm going to see what this looks like. Let's start the rain. Yay! Yeah. That, look at That makes you like it. That is nice. It's nice, see, because it's warm, it's going to be much mm -hmm. more runny. Once that cools, it's going to be wonderful. Mm -hmm. Nice. Surprised yourself, didn't you? I kind of <laughs> did, but um, I need to make it so sometimes it's just nice to bring the camera along um, mm -hmm. because everybody wants to know, how do you do that? And I have a lot more viewers now than I did two years ago, so maybe you missed those other videos. And sometimes it's just good to update things. Um. I am, I'm very touched by a number of my viewers who reach out to me and leave me comments and send me personal messages and um, I've had a lot of people tell me that I've touched their lives in certain ways and um, and I have to tell you that that really touches my heart so I want to thank you all for that. Um, we're all in this together and I think that if I know how to do something and you don't, it's my job to help you understand how to do it. I think that on a human level that we should all do that. I'm going to say this because I know she won't. She got one today in the mail that made her cry. I did. All right, so I think we're going to call that good. We're going to, uh, well, why don't we make a cup of chocolate milk and see how that tastes? Okay. Hmm? All right. Bowls, I'll have to drink it. I almost forgot before I send you away. A tablespoon of vanilla off the heat, please, because the vanilla is uh, flammable. And if you put it on there while it's cooking, it'll all the flavor will evaporate. And you need to put vanilla in your chocolate syrup because it gives it a different flavor. It enhances the chocolate flavor. Okay, so give this all on there, stir. Yes. Yes. That's better. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mmm. All right. That's it. Don't forget the vanilla like I did. That's how to make homemade chocolate syrup. I mean, how hard can it be? Give it a try. I hope you try. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.